Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> this is the second day in Guanajuato, and it's about 8 o'clock this morning. And I'm overlooking a beautiful city in the morning. Uh, weather is kind of cool. Um, and this is the view from our hostel. You can see the sun is shining over the mountain, but hasn't shed its light into the town itself yet, but it will soon, as you can see. Um, no mosquitoes, slept like a dream. I think it must be the, uh, the quietness of the, uh, the, the barrios up here, if you can call it that. And uh, no mosquitoes, a thousand plus. And uh, just a uh, higher elevation, I think. Yeah, it just makes you sleep pretty well, I don't know. <laughs> It's uh, one of the best hostels I've slept at, anyways. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wake up this morning, get some breakfast in the hostel, uh, gonna take a shower, and hopefully we'll wander somewhere wonderful today, right? So bad. <laughs> you go crazy. <laughs> the thing about having a really nice view is that you gotta climb for it. <laughs> so our hostel is down there. We're making our way up the stairs, headed to this famous statue. I need to look up the name before we get there. But no legs. Today, only upper body and core. <laughs> We're saving our leg strength for uh, walking around the city. <laughs> so I'm sitting on top of Monument Monumento de Papila. This is an Indian miner who took up arms against the Mexican government in order to gain independence. And unfortunately, he was killed. But there's a statue that was enacted here on top of this hill and it's one of the best views in the city in Guanajuato here. On the side here you'll see a bunch of um, souvenir shops and food stands that you can buy stuff. Uh, we walked over here from the hostel, it only took about 10 to 15 minutes. Great from coming from uh, El Dante, the hostel is called El Dante or something. Um, yeah, awesome view up here. It's a little bit hot right now midday but hope to come back here in the evening time. Might be a better view of the city. Uh, from last night, the city is, is not as uh, lit up as much as uh, Colombia. Uh, there's not as many lights, but it's kind of still pretty, kind of like Italy. Um, there's a lot of people selling different stuff here. I'll let you guys get a view of the city here. So this is uh, the souvenir shops and food stands. Then we have the statue of Papilla. He's an Indian miner. A lot of tourists this morning, a lot of tour bus coming through this morning. Beautiful view of the city. Um, the only thing I recognize here is the university entrance over there, right in the center. I don't really recognize anything else here. I guess we'll have to do... Go to that church. Which one? The orange one or the gray one? The gray one. Yeah, we can go by there. I think we walked by there yesterday, but we weren't able to go in. All right. I'd like to maybe visit like up there. Maybe there's something up there. Yeah. Like an observatory or something cool. Yeah. But uh, awesome view. Yeah, that thing too. You see that thing all the way over there? Yeah, it looks like a fortress of some sort. Yeah. I need to do more research. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, just kind of wandering at the time. Yeah. You like the city so far? On a scale of 1 to 98, what would you rate it as? 
Where, where, what number again? On a scale of 1 to 98, how would you rate this city? 98. 98 out of 98? 98, yeah. So we're at this little restaurant stand. Oh, they have cafe too. And they have a bunch of different sweets here. One says arroz, arroz con leche is really good. And then they have some coffee too. Frappuccino, Americano, Mexicana, Chai Latte. So it's kind of like, um, it's a hot, it's a hot dessert, right? It can be hot or cold. So we have this similar in uh, Vietnamese, a lot of these different kind of gelatin desserts okay. that put different toppings on it. So in Vietnamese we call this kia, and we have a lot of different kind of types of kia, but it's like rice. It tastes very sweet, it's like rice pudding, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. What are you saying, it's usually hot? Tastes better. Yeah, I mean, I like it hot. Why you getting eat, eat it cold? It tastes kind of like oatmeal, to be honest. Mm -hmm. mm. Just made it to the Mummy Museum. Museo de las Momias. Not much of a line right now. Probably because it's midday. Nobody wants to climb that hill. It's quite a climb. It's about maybe a 10 or 15 minute climb, so. Pretty empty right now, good time to go in. So we just bought the ticket, the adult is 60 pesos, and then if you want to bring a camera, it's an extra 23 pesos. So all in all, about 83 pesos translates to about $4 and, I don't know, 33 cents or something like that. So now we're just waiting to get in. So these are real live mummies. There's more than a hundred of them in this museum. And they're pretty well preserved behind glass. I read that they keep them behind glass so people don't actually um, take parts of the body and, you know, take it home. That's why they're it's behind glass. Before, I think it used to be outside. But these mummies are very well preserved. And I don't know the temperature in there. I think it's very cool in there. I can't tell. It's like double glass, so I can't really tell. Anyways, I'm gonna see some more mummies. Ah, it has the temperature right here. 24.6 degrees Celsius. Ana Maria, she is a woman from, traditional from Guanajuato. So I think she lived about 1903 to 1909. So this is a really good quote. 
here. The greatest tragedy of life is not death, but what we let die inside of us while we live. By Norman Cousins. facts that you'd like to share with us that you caught? I guess the way like people decided to like cross their arms or like leave them hanging or something. Leave it side by their side? Yeah, by their side. Okay. And yeah, what I still don't understand is like if people get put here because they're cutting up for a coffin or something. Well, I, I don't know. It's probably cheaper to get mummified. I was just really uh, amazed how well the hair was preserved. Yeah. Like hair doesn't deteriorate that quickly, I guess, compared to skin. Yeah. We're just making our way to the market to find some lunch. We're looking for some torta. Ahorcada means like a drowned sandwich of some sort. I mean, they dip it in sauce. So let's see if we can find something in the market to eat. Mediana for 40 pesos. It's with uh, the steak asado, fried steak, and Juan got milanesa de res. Oh, pollo. 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 And a fanta and a refresca. And it's pretty good, pretty tasty. Um, I like to try the ahogada though. <laughs> yeah. Change some money from the Cambia, Cambiario, Cambio, Casa de Cambio, and uh, usually they take photocopies. But if you're exchanging more than a certain amount, uh, we only exchanged fifty dollars, so a photocopy was okay. But other than that, you need the real passport, unfortunately. And so most of the banks, they won't exchange it for you because you need like a membership with their bank too. So if you're trying to get money, um, it's best just to get a Charles Schwab card because you can go by any ATM and uh, it's everywhere so it's a lot easier. Trying to find a place in exchanging US American dollars. And we're just hanging by the park before our climb to Mount Kilimanjaro. I mean, mm. to our hostel. <laughs> They, they kind of warm up here. This is like their pregame. And then they walk around the city. They walk around the city and then start singing that way. Yeah. So they're warm up this whole crowd right now. 